Welcome back to, ta-da, 3D printing. The newest Prusa Slicer 2.7.0 has been released. This is a stable version. And one of the new features in this new slicer is that it now has binary G codes, which is a compressed version. And this is really geared towards those larger files, like on the Prusa XL and that sort of thing, that were taking a long time to slice and send to the printer. I did install this new Prusa Slicer 2.7.0 because I needed it for my Prusa XL, but I don't want to update all of the firmware on my other machines, and that's mainly just because I have so many of them, they're working okay, and I just don't need issues right now in the busiest time of the year. But because I don't want to update, I'm having some issues with this binary code that when I slice a file, my printers are not recognizing it. I'm mainly having issues with the MK4, so I wanted to see if I run a file on my mini if I'm going to have the same issue. So I slice this file, export it onto something that has no other files on it so I can see whether it does recognize it or not. Insert the USB and see if it actually does see the file. And my mini does seem to be working. That one pulled up just fine, which kind of surprises me. So maybe they're not doing the binary G code on the mini, or I'm not sure why that one worked. So I put the same USB into an MK4, and it also does recognize it. Of course, that was sliced for a mini, so I don't want to use it, but it's interesting that it did actually see the file. So I started thinking that maybe that issue was just because I was running the beta, so maybe now that it's a stable version, it'll be fine. So I swapped this exact same file over to the MK4 Pro file and sliced that one. I'm surprised to see that it's only a couple minutes faster on the MK4, so I make sure that my profile is not an issue that I have like a preset from the mini, but no, it's still just 5 hours, 16 minutes, just a few minutes faster. So I export this onto the USB and I do get a reminder. I wouldn't really call it an error, but I'm glad they're doing this because this was not showing in the beta and that was some of my issue as I didn't understand why my printer was not seeing the G code, but it's because I have an older version of the firmware. So just to make sure I do slice this and insert the USB because I wanna see if I am still having the issues just before I move on and try to fix that issue. The only file that pulls up is the one that I had sliced that I'd already seen that's for the mini. So that newest one that I just sliced for the MK4 is not showing, which is what I expected, but I just wanted to double check. That's the only one showing is the mini. So the correct version or the correct way to fix this is to put the correct firmware on it. Put the most up-to-date firmware, the 5.1.0 for the MK4. And if I do that, that will fix the problem. But I have three of these, they're currently running, and I do not want any other quirky things to happen. So I'm not ready to update the firmware. So I'm going to go over to print settings and go to output options. And in there, there is a little check that says export as binary G code. And you can unclick this one. And now I can slice it again. So it's not gonna do that compression that my older firmware on my MK4 is not seeing. Same time frame, of course, slice this one. And of course, now I'm not gonna get that little reminder because I changed the output option. Okay, so now when I insert the USB, it does pull up a file and this one is the one for five hours, 16 minutes. So that is the newer one. And I do watch it to make sure that on my crazy long name that it is going to say mk4 rather than mini so that is the most up-to-date one that i wanted sliced for this printer and if i look at my usb now i do have two files so it is finally working i know this isn't ideal but if you're in the same situation as me this may be an option that you want to try let me know your thoughts on the binary g code thanks for watching